everyone. I have another project for us today. Today's going to be a little more science. So I filled up my sink with water. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab things and we're going to find out if they float. Um, what would you think would float? Something solid or something hollow? Do we know what that means? Something solid means it has something all the way through it. This is hollow because there's nothing inside. When it's full of water, it's still hollow, but that material on the outside isn't on the inside. That makes it hollow. So should we see if the water bottle, which is hollow, will float? It does. It floats. Do you think it would float if it was full of water? Let's see. Let's try if it was full of water. So I filled it up all the way to the top. I'm going to see if it still floats. No, it's too heavy. It goes right to the bottom. Now it is too heavy. Let's pick something else. What else do we think will float? I'm just dump that out. Or we could drink it. What about my spices? This is hollow, but it has something on the inside. This is Italian dressing inside of it. Though it doesn't have something all the way through, it's not a solid still. It has something inside it. So do you guys think it's going to float or sink? Okay. It's kind of floating, but if you see, it's kind of halfway in, halfway out. And I bet if we dumped all of that inside, it would float. Let's see. This is my dolphin. He is called cast iron. He is very heavy. He's a solid. When you pick him up, he's much heavier. Do you think he's going to float or going to sink? I think he's going to sink because this Little dolphin is a lot heavier than he looks. Yeah. See, he sank. That's okay. He's meant to go in the water anyways, huh? I bet he likes the water. Let's see, what else could we pick? This piece of paper towel is very light. See, it kind of floats in the air when I push it up. Since it's light, do you guys think that it's gonna sink? Or do you think it's going to float? I think it's going to do something different than both because it's what's called decomposable. See, when it gets wet, it, oh, he does float, <laughs> but it absorbs everything. The paper towel does float, but it absorbs liquids and that means it, it kind of starts breaking down once it takes it in. It's still floating, but now it's sinking towards the bottom. Okay, we'll pick one more thing. How about this candle? It's hollow. It's not a solid, but it still has some candle in the bottom, which makes it pretty heavy. And glass makes it heavy as well. So do we think... When I throw it up in the air, it's not very light. It comes down pretty heavy. I think it's going to sink. What do you guys think? It sank. And now it's full of water. And that makes it sink even more. What if we put it tip up so that way it doesn't fill up with water and get heavier? Still sinks. It's pretty heavy. This one, it's not very buoyant and buoyant means when it can swim or float very well okay guys well i hope you had fun with that make sure you don't put any electronics in the water that would be very dangerous and that would ruin your toys or mommy and daddy's electronics please don't put Phones, TVs, remotes, anything that plugs in or microwaves, anything like that. We don't want to get those wet because we will ruin those. I hope you guys have 
fun. And I hope you guys found out really cool new stuff. And now you guys can think about if your toys are hollow and why they float. Do they float because they're hollow? Do they float because they're, do they not float because they're solid? All right, you guys, keep learning. I will see you very soon.